Hey YouTube channel, this is uh, Ty Congress doing another action figure review and this is for the Warhammer 40,000 118 scale Joy Toy Blood Angel Deck Company Intercessors Now for those who are not familiar with the Warhammer 40,000 universe which is the big logo on the front of the old box there um, These are basically super enhanced genetically engineered super warriors from the 41st millennium hence the Warhammer 40,000 logo and it's based on a tabletop gaming system by Games Workshop and Siddle Miniatures from way back in the 80s. Now, so these are the latest iterations of the Space Marines, the Intercessors. They've, they completely, uh, they have dropped the kind of Space Marine name really on them. They're the company Intercessors. Um, originally, they were uh, Space Marines, and this is the Blood Angels chapter. Now, uh, each... There's many, many, many different chapters of Space Marines. There's Blood Angels, which are these guys. These guys are Death Company, which is in fact a sub unit of the Blood Angels. It gets kind of complicated. There's other Marines, which I will be looking at, which are these guys, the Ultramarines. These are the kind of standard go-to Space Marines that GW wor work with. They're kind of like the most marine figures will come out or most marine miniatures will come out standard as ultramarines and then they'll drop into the other factions like blood angels space wolves uh iron hands uh, what else is there salamanders black templars there's a lot of different chapters you can even create your own ones which is why these are really good so each of these figures, there's four figures in the set. Now I'll go through the box in a minute because there's a bit of interesting stuff in the box. I'll just get these out of the way first. So each Marine comes with a collector card. Unfortunately, because these are the Chinese versions, all I can see is the name in English, which is Brother Sergeant Samath, which is the Sergeant figure. You have a Brother Zohan. Hopefully the shine on the plastic isn't too good. Brother Zohan. You don't mess with the Zohan. Um, so, see Samath. And, yes, I haven't opened these and the tape is still on them. Brother Ar Arkeel, I think it is, or Akal, Akalal. Not sure how he pronounced that one. And Brother Garius. So, the basic set of these guys are fairly standard Marines, with the exception of the Sergeant. He has a few extra details. But we'll go into that when we get to the figures. So the way these are boxed, you get this really nice shot of the figures in the box on the front. You can see these are clearly for 15 plus. Along the side, you have the unhelmeted versions of the figures. So you get alternate heads, ones with the helmets, one without the helmets. Flipping around the back, you get another shot of all four Marines, this time without their helmets. And just as the copyright information and all that there's blank on the bottom so the copyright is up here and then you have the blood angels uh death company logo oh well, actually you think it's just a standard blood angels logo on the side of the box which is pretty sweet um the ultramarines has the ultramarine one now i will do the ultramarine re video review separate to these i won't do them at the same time because there's a lot to unpack in this plus um, I also have the Ultramarine Librarian figure, which I will review at the same time with the Ultramarine figures. But essentially, for the most part, they are the same, as in the base figure is the same. So when you get these in box, there's actually multiple boxes for each figure. They're actually individually boxed inside the box. And you have one for each figure. So this is, I can't remember the name of this guy. This is the one with the weird name. I don't think it's Sama. No, Sama was a sergeant. It's not Zohan. It could be Garius. Yes, this is Garius's box. So the boxes each have the Blood Angel logo, the picture of the figure. On the back of the boxes, you have an image of all the four figures and then the contents. Uh, one 12 centimeter action figure and accessories. And it's repeated in French from the looks of it. So there is the sergeant's box. And the last but not least is the other guy with the kind of gritted teeth pose. So I'm just going to take one of these guys out of the box that you can see the um, how they're packed inside the internal boxes. So bear with me a moment. 
So you get these in the boxes, inside the box. Same with the Ultramarine one. And if I flip around, you have the Eagle stuff on the side. Blood Angels, Company Intercessors, names. Blood Angels logo. That Company Intercessor. Now, they do come inside a plastic tray. The collector cards are actually stuck on here. So that's why I had them separate. They come with a lot of stuff. So you can see the figure, main figures here. Extra head here. They come with the unhelmeted heads on in the box. The actual helmet is here. The backpack, the main, I think they're called bolt rifles in the new gate in the new system so they're bolters they used to have bolters and bolt pistols i think the bolt pistol is still the same and the astati astratis chain sword and then you get an extra sets of hands and these aren't actually taped together as well so when you are popping them apart just be careful they're quite tight and if you pop them too fast everything will just fly all over the place so just be careful when opening those guys up so bear with me a moment, I will dig out all the figures and we will get into the figures itself. And here they are in all their glory. So the basic figures, these three are pretty much the same sculpt, same construction, uh, with the slight differences being the pockets. So some of them have, um, let's see, I'll get one of them. Some of them have different pocket setups, so this guy only has the one pouch. Now, the holsters for the bolt pistols don't actually are non working, but they are pegged in. Um, this is about the gas mask, which again, I can't remember the names. Zohan, this is Zohan. So he comes with the um standard sort of bolt rifle. In fact, they're all the bolt rifles, there's two that are, are identical bolt rifles then there's one different one and then the sergeant's one is slightly different again so you have the ultra or no, ultra the blood angels uh logo on the side the cross pattern for the death company you can see this guy has both pouches and an extra pockets on the back these guys do have removable backpacks they come separate they're just plugged in by two pegs they come with a, a buttload of arms or hands and they have uh, quite good articulation. So the heads on the ball joint, you can get a good range of movement on it. Now, for the purpose of this, I won't pop the heads out to swap in the helmets because it is a bit of a pain in the butt. The arms do extend out a small bit to give you an extra range of mo movement, but the arms move. The shoulder pads are on a ball joint. These pieces on the backpack actually rotate as well. The arms are on double jointed elbows you have swivel on the wrist and you have a ball joint on the wrist as well which give you good range of movement the hands are very nicely done they're done in a gummy plastic so that when you're doing two-handed poses you can get them to grip the hand grip pretty good on the bolt rifles you can see they have the aquila on the chest which is what this thing is named um it's the skull version on the older Space Marines, they used to have a gemstone for their Aquila, and they changed it to a skull for the more recent intercessors. They all have the same thing. Some of them have a um, purity seal on the side of the leg, and some don't. This guy has the same setup as Mr. Bionic Eye here. I know I'm kind of forgetting their names already. They're, I'm just super excited about the actual figures more than the actual thing. Um, if we can get my tape measure in, we'll showcase off. They have a lot of extra hands and stuff, so I'll showcase those in a minute. If we get the old tape measure in, these guys stand in nearly five inches. They're about a f yeah, there was one with the backpack. They're about four and a half, just on just a hair actually, just a hair under five inches. Uh, the helmets don't add any extra height to the to the height of them. It's from the backpack, really, because they're the uh, highest point of the miniatures. Or not miniatures, the figures. Every figure for the Blood Angel set has a bolt pistol and chain sword, which is kind of um, if you know anything about the lore of the Death Company, 
original deck company figures, miniatures, whatever you want to call them, were originally assault troopers. So they were all armed with bolt pistols and chainswords, and they used to have jump packs. Uh, these guys do not have the jump packs. Uh, they had, there was, in the original uh, kind of setup for them, they would, because they're crazed, they're basically, they're suffering for, from a thing called the black, oh, what's it called again? Is it the blood rage? Black rage? Something along those lines. So basically, they're, they're more, they're psychologically unbalanced, is the best way to describe it. They, they have like a bloodlust. So they, the original idea was they were assault guys, so they go straight into combat as quick as possible, and they just go berserk in combat. They were frenzied, so they'd like, they, that's why they were normally armed with just pistols instead of like long range weapons. The newer ones seem to have more long range, which are these, uh, bolt rifles. They're longer range in the in game, longer range than the. Uh, bolt pistol obviously what's funny about this one this is the one that came with the sergeant and you can actually see there's an ultra symbol on it they didn't actually change that it's the same one that's on the ultramarine sergeant i think it's the sergeant one of the ultramarine ones has this anyway and the ultra is more for ultramarines um i don't think it's a generic thing that was across most space marines i think it's more iconic to ultramarines so here are the alternate heads now is this the one that has the yes so when I was popping the head off, this neck piece came out. It's only glued in place, so it is something to watch out for um, if you pull them out too much. Uh, it is a bit of a pain in the butt to get the heads out if you don't heat them up, because what tends to happen is when you're popping the heads out, the whole peg will come with the head as opposed to sitting in the neck place, so you don't have um, the peg, the corresponding peg to put them into. Here's a look at the other head, which is pretty cool. And then for hands, I'm sure I get a full set. There should be four extra hands. So you get a trigger finger for the left hand. You get these kind of... Uh, you get a slightly open grip hand for the right. And then you get a pair of these kind of closed fist hands. They're not completely closed. But the thumb is connected to the finger so you can't actually if you were to cut it you'd be able to open it up but you have like these i think these are supposed to be kind of like their punching hands equivalent so you do look at that from the sergeant's standpoint he does have a, a bit of a difference to the other figures so he has the teardrop iconic blood angel teardrop icon on his helmet the other ones don't the other normal helmets are just all these kind of plain ones with the airbrushing on the front for the kind of vents and stuff like that and the paint work. This guy has that teardrop, which is really nicely done. The teardrop on the shoulder, extra shoulder armor piece is really nice. It almost pops with the uh, paint work they did on it. Uh, same with the ones on the shoulders. You can see it's glossy red, so it has that kind of almost fresh blood look. Um, I think he also has the deck company logo on his backpack i don't think none of the other ones have that they don't only have the plain one he has extra paint applications on the backpack so you can tell them apart um what's cool about this guy is he also has um the sergeant for the ultramarines is actually different to this guy he has like a communicator thing on this arm which i will go to get to when i get to them overall these guys are really good price wise they work out about about $25 each so they're a bit pricey but for the joy toy joy toy um manufacturing skills i mean that's about the same as most joy toy figures so you have a lot of articulation in these guys you have a hip joint you have now depending on which ones you have they might be a bit um hindered by the pockets and stuff but they can move forward and back quite nicely dual jointed knees you know they can be a bit unsightly depending on which way you want to do it but it's not too bad. It's the trade-off for the way the armor is designed. You have a ball joint on the foot and a foot uh, hinge for the front of the foot. They do have foot pegs. As I said, they do have those dual jointed arms and the rocker, um, the ball jointed wrist. He has double waist. So you have a waist crunch at the top of the uh, chest and then a normal waist swivel, which is quite nice. And as I said before, those arms kind of extend out just so you can get extra range of movement on them they tend to be a bit more floppy when the arm is out 
So if you keep it in, they hold the pose a bit more. So for size comparisons to standard kind of figures, uh, let's see what we got here. We have a G.I. Joe figure in the guise of Firefly from, I think it was the Retaliation line. So this is kind of the standard uh, 25th anniversary uh, modern retro line, I would suppose. So you can see these guys are massive. Since there is a faction called Imperial Guard, who, if people who watch my videos know of the Imperial Guard, or Astra Militarum, they're called. They don't have any figures that really fit well, but if you have these Halo UNC troopers, they do kind of fit the bill as stand-ins. So that you can see a normal human is uh, about two, nearly two foot smaller than these guys. They're quite, quite tall as far as um as far as figures go and then for another size comparison here is paddle damage robocop from the 2014 film so this is one of the higher toys figures so he's actually a bit tall because he is robocop and if i can find one of my predator figures it would be nice you can show him next to one of the uh, Hot Toys Predators, unfortunately I don't seem to have one of them at hand But what I do have from um, Hot Toys, Higher Toys uh, What I do have from Higher Toys is oh, I can't remember the name of this thing, it's that big alien creature From Alien Colonial Marines So if you want something a bit more sizable to stand off against these guys You have that, so All in all, these sets are really cool now, this is technically the second wave of figures. The first wave was the Infiltrators and the uh, was it Aggressors, I think they were called. I'm not sure the names of the units. I'm not too familiar with the more newer Space Marine units. Like, when I was playing the game, it used to be just Tactical Marines, Assault Marines. They're all basically mer normal Marines. The newer ones have a lot more different armor variations and roles to play within the army. So you have that. Um, let's bring in the... Uh, the detailing on the weaponry is really cool as well. You have the skull icons on the chainswords. Chainswords across the board between the um, Ultramarines and the Blood Angel figures are the same. Uh, they diff they do differ for the bolt pistols. These ones are unique to the... Uh, so far, they're unique to the um, Death Company. They might have the same ones as the... Uh, what are they? The Space Wolves. They might, Space Wolves may have the same sort of... Um, so now i know this video is going to be pretty long so i'll try and wrap it up here but uh overall really good figure line i do recommend picking them up if you're a fan of the warhammer 40,000 universe um even if you're a fan of the like mcfarlane figures these guys are just as awesome as the mcfarlane figures these in fact i i think the paintwork on these are a little bit uh better than the mcfarlane figures as in they, they went all the way out and edge highlighted all the um armor plates whereas the mcfarlane ones are flat uh, panels so these guys have a little bit more paint apps on them than the mcfarlane it's even with the ultramarines i'll when i get around to doing the ultramarine video i'll bring in the mcfarlane ultramarine so you can see the difference between them um overall like i'm not going to pick up the space wolf figures i'm like even though i do like space wolves i'm i'm trying to keep to the ultramarine stuff only because from what I've seen, rumor-wise, there's going to be a lot of different Space Marine factions released under different um, fi figures. And they've already announced a Gravis Armor Captain, and I think it's Gravis Armor um, Unit, plus inf uh, res is it Recessors, Intercessors. There's a whole bunch of other figures just after being announced there, and, and there's a lot of rumors of what way the line's going. They're even doing Chaos Space Marines, which... I will pick up at some point and they will be like they've already announced another wave of chaos space marines even though the first wave hasn't even dropped yet but overall they're doing a lot of, they're going all in really on the 40k universe now what's the downside about these uh or well, apart from the, the downside is that they have to more than likely import a lot of the figures they their game releases generally in china first uh it's like china exclusive um timed exclusive first and then they'll be released to european markets depending on how they sell and 
I really hope the line keeps going and we get to see some Xenot stuff like orcs, uh, gene stealers, uh, tyranids, necrons, all the, that good stuff. So uh, if you can pick these up, I'll put links in the description below for where you can get these at the moment or where you can pre-order these in the States. Uh, these ones haven't been shipped uh, in the States yet from places like Big Bad Toys, sir. They're still on pre-order. I got mine from Locker Toys and I did have to pay a bit for them to get shipped over but they were really worth it so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this video review and as i say my videos please feel free to like comment and subscribe to my videos cheers guys